Welcome, everyone. Uh, we are at Ageless Balance. I'm Ron. Let's get started with just warming up. Opposite arm, opposite leg into that ever popular March we all like. We're only a month away from March, that is. We're marching. That was a pun. It was a joke, like my chocolate jokes. Up and up. Bring it a little higher. Knees, toes. Everything right up front. Just keep it there. Start bringing it up just a little bit higher. Let's work those hip flexors. Knees, ankles, shoulders, elbows, hands, fingers, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Bring the foot around to the back and back. Nice, easy touch. Don't roll the hips. Don't look off in different directions. Right out in front again and around. Arms swinging with it. Shoulders back, working the chest, stretching out the chest. And stretching out the shoulders around, upper back. Alternate which hand is on top as you come around, over and over. We're good. We're good. We've done enough of that. Butt kickers. We got so much we're going to do today. So much. We'll move through this part here. Butt kickers. And as the feet go up or as the foot goes up, arm goes up with it. Push right straight up. Like that. Make that noise. Exhale. Roll the hand. So you rotate the hand as you push up, getting that arm to move in the shoulder. Up, up, couple more. And you're there. Lateral steps. Four to the side. One, two, three, four. Back again. One, three. Yeah. One, two. There we go. Couldn't get all the numbers out. It's too fast for me. It's having to think. Four. All right. Arms back. We swung them side to side. Rotated. Now we're going front to back. Out and back. Arms out. Arms back. Arms out. Arms back. Reach as far as you can with those movements. <clears throat> out. And out. Bring it back. One, two, three, and four. Arms down. We're going to do... Little tiny, starting out with little tiny. Shoulder rolls, starting back. Palms out, roll the shoulders up, back, down and forward. Big movements there, or big, a lot of exaggerated movements through the shoulder itself. Arms don't have to go big. Just make sure that you're moving that whole shoulder. And same thing going forward. Bring them around, back, up, forward, down, and out to the sides we go. Wide set, hip hinge, butt back, chest out, hands on the thighs to start out with, pushing off the thighs to come back up. Roll the hips, drive right straight up. Again, down, back, roll, and up. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more time, down, arms around. Get that rotation through the shoulders, through the upper back. Reach and reach. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then start going into a side lunge, bending the one knee, pushing the butt right straight back. Torso goes right straight down towards the floor. It just moves over to the side, going towards that foot, because one leg is getting shorter than the other. Down and up, down and up. Shake that out. Cross body reach, we're just gonna reach up and over. We did front to back, we did rotational, we did side. We are now doing diagonal for the arm. Reach, push that hand, rotate it as you go up. Don't turn the hips. You wanna get the stretch through the shoulder, through the upper back, through the shoulder, blades, and up. And we're good. Hands back into that squat. We're gonna do a squat, that's what we're gonna do. Squ I got this, I got it. Squat. Arms out front, roll the shoulder blades back, and come on down. So what we want to do here is do a, like a, a kettlebell swing. Hips forward, arms up, and back down, just without a kettlebell. And up, and back down. A couple more times. Roll the hips, push up. Getting that movement through the shoulders, through the hips especially. Up and arms down. Leg up, bend around. Hold on to a chair if you need it. This is a monster step. Like that Frankenstein's monster. Up and around. 
and around. Find your balance, single leg. Even if you're using the chair, feel the floor underneath the foot. Don't rely on the chair. Use the chair as a help if you need it, but otherwise get that stationary foot on the floor flat. Other direction, back to front. I forgot what I was doing. And around and up and around a couple more times. And last one on each side, one there, one there. All right, last ones we're gonna do here. Hands on the thighs, pushing the butt back. Roll the shoulders to the floor. Feel the stretch all the way up the back. Roll the hips, bring the arms up overhead. Shoulder blades back, opening up the chest. And again, back down, hands on the thighs. Shoulders towards the floor, stretching out the back. Lower back, hips all the way up to the neck, and then roll it up. Hyperextending the back and bring the arms down. We are going to start doing work with weights. So grab your weights if you're gonna use them. If you're not gonna use them, you don't have to. And I do have people in classes who do not use weights. They're uncomfortable with it. So they do just the movements and tighten up the muscles. Isometrics. All right. First things first, the first thing we're going to do is just a reverse lunge. So reverse step, back and up, single leg, take the other leg, pick it up. So you're standing on one leg, you lift up the other leg, back, ball the foot on the floor, pushing through that front leg, lift that other leg and bring it back, back and up. If you can, if it's comfortable for you, down, roll the hips and push up through, down, and up. That's it. That's a reverse lunge. Back using that front leg, ball of the foot to the heel. All the work is done in the back chain of the front leg. Push up through the heel, down, and back up. When I say through the heel, I mean the back half of the foot, not just the heel only. Don't pick the foot up off the floor. You want to just really concentrate that that foot is on flat on the floor, not the toes. Back and up. Three seconds, we can do one more on each side. Down, back up, last one, and up. Remember, you go at your pace. So when I say, one more, one more, however many you do, however, whatever speed you go at, that's right for you. Just do that, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Arms up, right next to the head. That's why we use time, so you can go at your pace, not mine. We're gonna do alternating shoulder presses up, and up, alternating. Bring it up, hold. One up, one down. Reach over the head. As high as is comfortable for you. You don't have to go that high. And up. If your shoulders are giving you any problems, put the weights down and do this without the weights. Up and up. You want the arms to go up the same height, though, if you can. Up a few more times. We have seven seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Arms down. Shake the arms out, roll them out a little bit. Shoulders back, shoulders forward. So we're going to put those two together. Arms right next to the head. Racking the weights next to the shoulder or above the shoulders next to the ears. What we're going to do is step back in that reverse lunge with the shoulder or with a shoulder press on the other side. So it's on the same side, up, back and up. So putting those two moves together. Again, if your shoulders are getting tired, get rid of the weights. Don't worry about them. You can do this without them. Just move the arms up. Tightening up those muscles as you do it, contracting. And up, 10 seconds left. Push, back and up. We have two more, there's one. There's the second one, bring the arms down. That was the first set. On we go. Skaters, back and back. So bringing that toe around. We did this in warm-ups, keeping the hips forward. That's it. That's all there is to it, just that easy. Back and back. Take your time, pick that foot up, roll it around, tap the toe, pick it back up and bring it back again. Balance on that single leg with the weights. 
gives a little momentum. The core's got to work harder. Ankles, knees, all the muscles from the hips down and around. Tap. Core works to keep your torso right over that stationary leg. Got to keep that foot flat on the ground. Around and around. And last one on the other side. We did it. We're going to take and do a cross body curl down, bring it up on the other side and down. Weights hang right up front, up, tap the shoulder and tap the shoulder. You're gonna feel this in the chest, through the chest, inside of the arm and those biceps muscles, up and up. Again, if it's too much, get rid of the weights or go to a lower weight if you've got it. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just get those movements in there, get the muscles moving, contract them as tight as is right for you, up. Remember with the weights, you've got a little, little bend in the knees, shoulder blades are back as you do that curl. Don't let yourself swing or twist as you do this. Really concentrate on keeping the body in alignment. Three, two, one, and down. Biceps got heavily worked there. All right, so what we're gonna do is all around, bring that foot around, shoulder press or uh, curl, cross body curl and other side. So it's around tap and back. Biceps working, core. All of these are heavy core exercises to hold you above that stationary leg around. If that's too much, just tap the toe to the inside you don't have to go around the back. You don't have to do that skater. Up and up. Take your time with this. Bring the weight up as high as is comfortable for you. Bring it up. 15 seconds left. And up. Over cross body. Feel the chest working. Feel the biceps. Hips. Core. The whole works. Everything's just involved here. And back down. Anytime you get that rotation in there, be really careful not to turn the hips with it. You want to keep the hips forward straight so that you don't tweak the lower back. All right. <clears throat> right here into a stagger step. Tell you what, one weight down. One weight down. Grab onto the back of your chair. If you so choose, I choose to. I choo choo choose to. I'm going to take... And going into, oops, wrong leg. Weight on one side, leg, that leg is forward in a stagger step. We're going to go down into a single leg, hip hinge, down, push up through the heel, and come back up again. Using the front leg on this one, down, butt goes right straight back, knee stays over the ankle, driving the hips forward and back up. If you don't want to use the chair, You'd rather do it without, that's fine. No problem. Down and back up. Exhale as you come up, pushing that hip forward two more times. Out and back in, keep the toes up off the floor. Don't let your weight go forward. Shoulder blades stay back, don't let the torso twist. And up, other side, same thing. So we're working these muscles all the way through the thigh. Heavily into that um, into that quadricep on the front of the thigh. All right, stagger step, feet parallel, shoulder blades are back, chest is out. As you come down, you're not going any lower than the knee, pushing the butt out and then pushing through the heel to come back up again. Down, feel the stretch through the hamstrings, through the glutes, and push and back up again. Take it down, 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 hold. And up. <clears throat> Don't go any lower than the knee. Once you get to the knee, that's when you push the butt out farther. Knee stays over the ankle and up. So you're not straightening that knee to get your butt back farther. It is pushing it out from the hips and then pushing through the heel to come back up again. One more time. Down and back up. All right. We're going to do two weights. Back to twos. And we're going to do side arm raises. So shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Little bend in the elbow. So this is where you can adjust the weight. 
however much you need or however much your shoulder is able to do by bending the elbows. The closer you get the weight to the body, the less the muscles have to work, the less stress it puts on the shoulder. If you can go out farther, that's great. Farther it is from the body, the more the muscles have to work to lift that weight up. But if that's not right for you, start bending that elbow and bring them up on the sides and out. Again, it's totally up to you. You can adjust that weight by going out an inch more and see if that's right for you. And if it is, you can go just another inch. Don't come up any higher than the shoulders when you do this. And seriously, be really careful about letting the shoulders come forward. Up and back. You don't want to pinch the front of that shoulder socket. Up and back down. We got three more. And back. Two. Bring it back down. Last one. Up, 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 up. And back down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, back to single weight. Put that down. We're going to go to that side you started on. Into that hip hinge, going into that deadlift from the front leg. And as you go, let's try this again. Down, and as you come up, bring the weight up. Back down, butt goes back. And come up as you come up. This is too much with the shoulder. Get rid of the weight. Or don't do the shoulder press or the shoulder raise. You don't have to. Back down. And up. Shoulder blades are back. Chest stays square to the floor all the way through. Remember, push the butt out. And come back up again. Going to do two more. Down. And up. Hold there and back down. Take your time with this. Arm comes down as you come down. Arm comes up as you go up. Other side. Other side we go to. So the reason the chair is here is to keep the shoulders back so you don't lean forward looking at the floor. You're looking out in front of you as you go down and then up that side arm raise. Back down, weight at the knee height, push the butt back. And up. You don't have to go lower than the knee. Everybody wants to go as down as far as they can. And they start twisting and bending at the same time. Up on the way up. Down on the way down. Leaning forward in a hip hinge. Back up. Hold. And back down. Two more. Up. And last one right here. Hold it. And back down. Again, all right, one more, one more, one more, and then we get a break, and then we go to the chairs. All right, first thing we're going to do, march, just a march, hands up, alternate arm, alternate leg. Take your time with it, nice and slow. What you're actually doing is a curl on a single leg, up and up. If it does not work for you with that balance, tap the toe, up. You'll get there where it does, where you can hold that leg up, but wait until you get strong enough through the core and the hips and the glutes to do it. If you're having any balance problems at all, I don't want you to feel out of control. You should feel like you know where your body is and that it is not going to fall. If you feel it all that you're not comfortable, don't pull that foot up off the floor. Just tap the toe up, up. Couple more here, bring it up. Two, one more each side. One and two, and bring it down. Holding the weights there, we're gonna go with an external hip rotation. Up, tap the toe, bring it in, up and across on the other side, and in. Up and out, back in. On that single leg with that external rotation. Again, if you're uncomfortable, if you feel like you're not safe, get that toe on the floor. Keep it there all the way over and all the way back. You're still working that stationary leg to hold you up. It's still doing all kinds of work, which means the glutes are involved. Hips, ankles, up, out, in, and back down. And we're going to do one more each side, up and out, 
bring it back in. Last one, up, roll out, in, and back down. Putting those together, we're going to take curl, foot up, out, in, and back down. So that march, opposite arm, opposite leg, hold the weight in front, roll the foot out, roll it back, and down. Again, if it's right for you, tap the toe, swing it out to the side, slide it back, and then in. Whatever's right for you. Hold on to the chair if you need to. Get next to a wall in case you feel like you're going to bobble just a little bit. Do what your body says you're able to do. And back down. Up. Out. In. And back down. Working the hips on this one. Biceps. Holding that weight up. Up five seconds. Whoa. Out. I'll get there. Last one. Up. Out. In. And down. Hold your weights, but we're going to the going to the, the chair. Get your weights right by the chair. Grab yourself a drink of water. Work your way on down to seated. We're going to the chair. First thing we want to do is find our neutral position. So just shoulders back, underneath the ears, that whole thing. Tell you what, for all the exercise we did with the upper body, grab onto the back of the chair, roll the shoulder blades back, chest is out. Deep breath in and come forward. Shake that out when you're ready. Grab your weights. First thing we're going to do is weights on the thighs, nice and easy. Pushing down, if you want, doesn't matter. Do whatever is the right one. Make sure you're on your thigh, though, not your knee. We're just going to pick that leg up a little bit and back down. Remember, be really careful on this one not to let yourself come forward. That's very easy to have happen. Also puts a lot of stress on the lower back. It's picking that foot up. Doesn't have to come up very high. It's not about getting that knee up as high as you can get it. It's about just bringing the heel up off the ball of the foot, right back down again, nice and slow. Controlling the movement so it's not a bounce. It's up, hold, and back down. Up and back. Just a little bit off the floor. Take your time. Feel the muscles working in the front of the hips, those hip flexors, the ones that lift the legs when you walk up and up. And one more time each side. Bring it up. Bring it up. And we're good. We're going to go into a hip hinge from here. So let's just start out with that. Shoulder blades are back. Bring yourself down over the thighs. And then pushing through the ball of the foot to the heel, Driving yourself back up, shoulder blades back. So it's down, hold, and back up again, opening up the chest. Again, take it down. Stay right there. We're not going down very far. We want to just really concentrate on keeping those shoulder blades back as we come down over the thighs. And then as you roll back, making sure the shoulders never roll forward, keeping them back and down towards the hips and back. Going into that hip hinge, we're going to do a narrow row. So arms out to the sides, bringing the elbows back, squeeze them together, and down. So it's up, squeeze, and back down. Drive the shoulder blades back, hold them there, and come back out again. Up, you're squeezing those muscles in the Upper back between the shoulder blades, the posture muscles, the one that keep the shoulder blades back, which keeps the chest out, chin up, shoulders back. So you're not pinching the front of that shoulder socket. Able to, <clears throat> able to fill the lungs up with air as you breathe in, instead of chin down, blocking that airway. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Bring it up. Squeeze and back 
up, couple more, and down, last one, bring it up, hold, and back down to seated. All right, so here we go. Two together, we do that hip hinge, down, elbows back in that narrow row, arms back down, and then come up out of the hip hinge. So it's down, elbows back, release, and come up. Make sure you're tightening up the core all the way through this. So the shoulder blades are back, shoulder blades are down towards the hips. So you're rolling them back and down, coming down into that hip hinge, elbows back, nice and deep, as far as you can get them, feeling those shoulder blades squeeze behind, and then down and back up again. That's it. Make sure you've got your toes up off the floor so you're putting the pressure from the ball of the foot to the heels, and down, back, squeeze the shoulders together, forward, and up, again, down, arms, back, elbows back, squeeze it together, and up, shoulder blades are back, really working those shoulder blades, tight all the way through. Getting those muscles nice and tight in the back of the uh, back, in the upper back, the back of the back. Not the front of the back. And back up two more times. Down, roll them back. And back up. That's good. We're good right there. Next one we're going to do, we're going to use this hip hinge quite a bit. We're going to go back into that hip hinge, holding right back there. Elbows back on this one, hold them back, keep them back there. We're gonna go out into a triceps kickback and back in again. So keeping those elbows back, keeping those shoulder blades together, kick it out, hold, and back in again. Looking down, not at the floor between your feet, but keeping that spine straight, looking out in front of you. At the floor, five feet out, maybe five and a half, five and three quarters out. Keep those shoulder blades together all the way through this. Back. And in, you should feel this through the shoulder blades, not at the top of the neck. If you are feeling it at the top of the neck, you probably have your shoulders up by the ears. Get them down. Down and up one more time. Take it down. Bring it up. Shake that out just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to do a reverse fly. I really like this exercise. Going back to those shoulder blades again. I really want to hit them. We're going back to that hip hinge, hands at the side, palms facing in, bring the shoulder blades back. So all you're doing is working through the shoulder blades, contracting the muscles in the shoulders. That brings those arms up. You get that little bend in the elbow. It doesn't hinge. It just stays bent right where it is. Arms out to the side and back down. Out, shoulder blades together, chest out. Weight is driven through the ball of the foot to the heel. So you're not putting all kinds of pressure on the toes. You're not lifting the heels. Out and back in. Squeeze it. And back. Two more times. Two. That's it. Just two more. There's one. Release. There's two. And we're good. All right. After this one, we're going to give the uh, upper back a break. So last one here. We're going to go to the triceps and the upper back going into that hip hinge. Elbows back as far as they'll go. Out. Little bend in the elbows. In. Reverse. Fly. Back down. Elbows back. Extend at the elbow. Hold for a count. Bring them back in. And then bring the arms up in this on the sides and back down. Elbows back. Working the triceps in the back of the upper arm right there. Release. Arms forward. Shoulder blades together. And down. Back. Extend. In. Out to the sides. And back. Last one. Bring it back. Extend at the elbows. In. We're good. We're good. We're good right there. Whew. Set the weights down. Let's do a little stretching through the arms. Palm up. Starting with that right arm, bring it up over the top. 
reaching the shoulder blade on the same side as the arm. Reach back as far as you can. Hold on to it. Elbow stays in. Don't let the elbow flare out. We're trying to stretch out those biceps or those triceps in the back of the upper arm and bring it down. Shake it out. Other side, same thing. Up and over. Elbow up as high as you can get it. Roll the shoulder blades back as you do this. Feel a little more stretch. Again, shooting for the triceps specifically. And down. Legs out. We're going to ring, come down between the legs and roll the shoulders and arms down, pushing through the feet, rolling just the shoulders toward the floor, stretching it out. We're getting that upper back. And bring it back up. Fingers intertwined, palms out. Roll the shoulders forward, bringing the chin to the chest. Deep breath in, stretching out that upper back. Bring it back in and release that. Couple more, grab your weights, please. Back to the weights on the thighs. This time we're gonna take it up, toe tap, and bring it back in. Like you did before, lifting the heel up first, ball of the foot foot out, tapping the toe, and coming back in. Up and out, and back in. Bring it up, tap, and in. Nice and slow, making sure you're not letting that back, or the shoulders come down towards the legs. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Readjust if you need to, rolling those shoulder blades back and down. Out and in. Out and in one more time each side. So we're going to take this just one step farther. We're going to bring foot up further. We're going to bring the shoulder blades back. Lift that leg up, and instead of tapping the toe, see if you can extend in and down. By lifting that leg and doing the tap out and back again, we're warming up all the muscles that we're going to use for this one. Up, except we're going to hold right here. Out, in and back down, other side, same thing. Lift, extend, in, and down. Take your time, control this, check the back, make sure you got those shoulder blades back, heel up, off the ball of the foot, just a little bit off the floor, just a, just a tad. Extend at the knee, making sure that foot's going right straight out, up, out, so the toe, the knee, and the hip are all in alignment, back in, and down. Bring it up, extend, contract, and back down, up, out. One more time, each side, bring it up. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Man, it is so easy to roll forward. Chest back, or uh, shoulders back, chest out. And down, other side, out, in, and down. Get rid of one weight, we have one thing left, then we will go to the cool down, take a break and go to cool down. Weight right here on the chest. We're just gonna come down on the sides, like we're kayaking up and around on the other side. Torso stays straight. You're not twisting with it on this one. Using the muscles in the outside of the core here, those obliques on the sides, around. Use those muscles, those muscles pull. It's like when you're kayaking, you don't use the shoulders, you don't use the arms and pull it back. You hold the, the uh, paddle and you bring it back using the muscles in the side of the torso to turn the shoulders and around. Give you the shoulders a break using those muscles on the outside of the torso. Around and around. Tighten those muscles up. You can feel them between the ribs and the hips on the sides, down. I push on the top one, push on the bottom one, create just a little more tension, a little more resistance for the muscles to have to work against. Bring it back and back. All the rotations happening in the shoulders. Back and around one more time each side. We're going to go one to the left, one to the right. Set the weights down. You're done with them. Body gets uh, arms. Shoulders, everything gets a break. Now we're going to go into stretching and the cool down.
Grab your water. Hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. Take the arms out, roll the shoulders. Little little shoulder rolls here. Just open up the chest, open up the back, get the shoulders loosened up a little bit after all the contractions we did through them. And then arms up overhead, roll the shoulder blades back. Chest out, deep breath in, exhale as you bring the arms down again one more time. Bring them up. Shoulder blades are back. Keep the elbows bent on this, nice and easy. We're just cooling off here and bring it back down. Sweeping just the left arm up over the top and then going into a side bend. Again, not letting the hip come or the uh, sits bone come off the chair. You're just reaching over, feeling the stretch of the shoulder all the way up the side of the torso. Those muscles we just worked at the very end. Make sure the arm is right over the ears, heads over the shoulders, head and shoulders, and bring it back down. Other side, same thing. Arm up over the top. Arm and ear right in alignment with that spine. Bring that arm up, arc it over the top of the head, reach as far as you can, and bring it back down. Both arms up overhead this time, getting a little more stretch. We're going to take both hands and bring it over using that lead hand. Pull a little bit, just a little bit. What you're looking for is not to pull on the shoulder, but to pull, feel the extra stretch through the ribs, through the obliques on the side of the torso. And using that top hand, bring it back. And same on the other side, down. Keep the shoulders back. Don't let yourself lean forward. Again, that's super hard on the back. And bring it back up overhead and back down. Shake that out. Into a rotation we're going. Left hand, right knee. Take that right hand and grab onto the back of the chair. Before you start to twist, before you start to turn, roll the shoulder blades back. Chest is out. You're looking right out in front of you. And then using that back hand, rotating through the shoulders, shoulder blades back, chest out, only going as far as you can without the lower back feeling anything. This is a stretch all the way through the spine, through the shoulders, and back in. Same on the other side, right hand on the outside of the left leg, left arm goes back behind, either grab the bottom of the chair, the back of the chair, whatever's right for you. Chest out and rotate that back shoulder. Keep your eyes up. And bring it on back to center. Legs apart. One of my favorite stretches. Hands on the thighs and just going into a hip hinge. Keep the chest out. Keep the chin up. Back stays straight. Stretch is in the lower back. Qua uh, glutes and hamstrings. And push back up one more time. Take it down. Stretch out the back. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. And bring it back up. Pushing through the hands. Keeping the back straight as you come up to the top. Take the left leg first. Extend it out. Full length. A little bend in the knee. Not a whole lot. Just a micro bend. Just a little bit. Just so you don't lock the knee out. That's the important piece. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out, rotating the knee and the foot out and in and to the inside. So out, toe and knee both, not just the ankle, and in. You should feel that through the hip. We're working those muscles, that joint in the hip socket, taking it to the one side, then the other, getting as much motion out of those hip joint or out of those muscles around the hip joint trying to get flexibility into them so you don't get locked up over back and other side same thing extending out again find your posture first ear over the shoulders over the hips and rotate knee and toe super important make sure that they're turning together out and back Get it out as far as it'll go. Hold it there for a little bit. You're going to feel the muscles working on the outside. You're going to feel the inner thigh stretch and back. You should feel this up around the knee. Back out. Last one. 
back in again and bring it in. Left leg over the right shin and just bring it up as high as is comfortable for you. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. That's all you're doing. You're looking for a stretch in the outside of the hip, right there on the sides. Those were the muscles we used when we pulled that leg out, doing that external rotation through the hip. And relax it. Other side, same thing. Up, however high you need to take it to feel the stretch in the outside of the hip, wherever that spot is right for you. Keeping the shoulder blades back, that's the most important piece of this one is that shoulder blades are back and that you don't feel any stress in the front of the hip. Just a stretch on the outside and bring it back down again. Ankle rotations, grab onto the back of the thigh and around. Just like the hip, we want to make sure we've got movement through those joints. If we don't, around the other way, we don't have control of our body. When we're out and about walking around, all of these joints have to be flexible enough to be able to handle any type of uh, movement, side to side, other foot, same thing. Any tripping. Again, if you're walking on uneven ground, which you should, you should always be uh, working on that, working on gra uh, walking on grass, gravel, opposite direction, keeping those ankles strong as well as flexible. And back down again. Check that out. Palms up. We're going to bring the hands up to the shoulders and the elbows up. Chest out. Stretch through the shoulders, triceps, upper back. And back down again. Palms facing up. Palms facing out. Arms back behind you as far as you can get them. And bring them up. Forward. Hands on the shoulders, elbows up, get them up there and relax, grab onto the back of the chair. Chest out, deep breath in, through the nose, pushing the stomach out and exhale as you come forward, hands on the thighs, roll the shoulders out and bring it back again. Deep breath in, stomach out and exhale as you come forward, stretching out the upper back. Tighten the core up as you do that, getting all the air out of the lungs, and then shake it out. If we can get the more air we can get out of the lungs, the more fresh air we can get back in again. Arms up over the head, shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Nice deep breath in, pushing the stomach out, really drive the stomach out. Feel the lungs open up under on the lower lungs. I'll get it yet. Roll the shoulder blades back, bring the arms down. Put all the fingers a little bit. Get them loosened up too. Bring the shoulders up one more time or the arms up. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Deep breath in. Stomach out and bring the arms down. Nice and slow. And thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. It was good having you here and I will see you again on Friday.